Hey FFB, what's going on? We're here with another uh, Equips video for the week of November 15th. Uh, my special guest for this week is Level 99 Red Mage. Say hello, Red Mage. Hello everybody, how y'all doing? All right, so this week we got uh, the Final Fantasy 3 content. We got uh, the TMR and STMR for our new Ignis. We got the new vision card, Bahamut, run away, run away! Uh, we got some TMR upgrades, some Final Fantasy III farmables, some dark visions upgrades, well, side grades, because you have to buy them separately, and then some trial rewards. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, our first item that we're going to talk about is from the Chronicle Battle. It is Ark's Hat. It is a upgradable, so you already have Ark's Hat, and you can upgrade it with uh, the Enhanced Sight, etc., and it is a hat slot, 14 defense, 80 magic, 42 spirit, with boost magic by 500, and reaper killer by 75% for Final Fantasy 3 units. And then for uh, every other unit, it has um, MP every turn and boost LB gauge fill rate. Did you get it? Oh, absolutely. It's not a terrible hat by any means. Um... 80 magic on a hat is already pretty good. Um, even though like most units can't use the magic, uh, the flat magic, or the reaper killer, the LB gauge fill rate is actually kind of nice at 100%, and that's for anybody. So, Yeah, the MP restoration is only 3, but hey, that's that's nice. Like I, That's a passive thing you don't notice. Whenever you're getting low, you're like, oh, I didn't get low, great. Yeah, anything helps, man. Yeah, but LB gauge fill rate is is actually nice, especially at 100% in the hat slot. That's There's not many things in the hat slot that give LB fill rate. Oh, for sure. So, and it being at 80 magic, it's one of our highest magic items in game. Like, uh, it's as good as the Lynx STMR, which is the chase item right now for the Chrono Cross banner, uh, which has 80 magic and LB fill, or LB damage 50%, and that's all it's got. So... It's up there with Chase STMRs, so. Oh, for sure. Like, um, I think the only other 80 Magic Hats are, you know, the Returns and Inguses. After that, uh, it's just um, Crown of Wills, and that's it. Yeah, Fiend of the Returns is 100 Magic, um, which is great, but also an STMR that you have to get. Yeah. And Ignuses cool. is 80. Um, with equipment magic of fifty percent, and then you've got your, SMR. and then you've got your rulers, I guess. But like, you can only get one of those. So, yeah. so for something that easily uh, attainable, I mean, you can only get one because of enhance sight, but definitely worth picking up. Yeah, I hate the enhance sight feature, but whatever. That's beside the point. Um, uh, definitely worth picking up, worth farming. It's an easy to if you're trying to gear out your whole team for like dark visions or clash of wills, and they're mostly mages. This is definitely going to be used. Like it's it's great. Absolutely. Um, okay, so moving on to the next one, uh, we have from catastrophe. Now I personally wait uh, a week or two. I wait for a little bit, like a month's worth of power creep before I go into these. Um, I don't do these day one. The uh, the twelve race trials. Um, uh, just because there, it's, there's so much, like you have to have literally the unit that came out this week. Um, but, uh, it's a uh, spirit killer and we got spirit, spirit killer plus, and then, uh, Aquian eater sense. So I think this is great for just like the current state of the game. Oh yeah. Everything's either killers or LB damage, but Specifically from these, um, I'm most happy about the Aquan Eater sense because Aquan Killer is still, by far, one of the hardest killers to gear for in the game. Oh yeah, there's like five, like five things. Like you got Salandra's Protection, and like yeah, it's very uncommon. <laughs> um, and anything that they've given out is like all premium stuff. It's like, oh great, we got another source of it. It's time limited and premium or something like that. So like an actual source of permanent Aquian killer in game. Yes, please. And again, versatile too. You know, it's attack and magic 40%, but also physical and magic killer. So I'm all about the versatile items like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm always a fan of um, uh, things that you can permanently get because 
uh, a lot of things that I try and do are like new player things, like new player guides and stuff. And so many people were like, well, I wasn't around three weeks ago, so I couldn't get that premium item. I'd be, I'd be willing to spend on it now, but I can't get it. So permanently available gear is just absolutely amazing. Um, and then also you get Spirit Killer, which is kind of rare as well. Yeah, Spirit Killer is also pretty rare. So it, it's nice to have these recipes too. Um, so you can craft more if you really want to grind them out. Yeah, most people actually don't know that you can grind out multiples um, from the drops. Like it, it, the Spirit Killer as the basic one is a drop in all of the 12 race trials. Yeah, it's the reason why most people don't grind them out is because once they beat it, they're like, I don't want to do this ever again. Yeah, well, with some of them, you can get them down to like a one turn. If you have like the meta units, um, you can get them down to like a one or two turn kill. Um, and also you can grind out the basic ones from the early stage, like the, what is it, advanced? Um, uh, yeah. it's, it's got a lower drop rate, but it's so much easier to kill. So, would I rather do something that I can one-shot or do something that's 12 turns? You know, I'd, I'd rather do the one-shot and have it be a lower drop rate, so. Absolutely. But... There are some people who actually farm out six, uh, say, like, Spirit Killer Pluses. That will not be me, but <laughs> uh, just because of the energy that is needed to do that. Because it's like, yeah. I think it's something like, on average, um, it's like, I think it's something like 400 energy per Spirit Killer, like, per basic killer drop. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have energy pots, but not that many. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that one. <laughs> But uh, definitely a good week if you're needing for Spirit or Aquian um, killers. Now sure. we got the Dark Visions weapons. Um, so I made this graphic before they had uh, updated the news. So the graphic still has the uh, attack um, on it. So I'll bring it up in game. Uh, what do you think about these? Ah, uh, here we go. The the TDH meta, if it wasn't taking off, it's it's really taking off. So the the sword in particular, um, did Golbez really need to get just that much stronger in one week? I mean, 405 flat magic on a two-handed weapon, so the variance, he gets that for Meteor. Oh, yeah. That's insane. It, he, yeah. They're just doubling down on making Golbez stronger, and I don't know why, because they hate Neovision Awakenings. They hate NVA, so, like, why are they doing this? I feel like it's more of a case of, like, oopsie, Global, because um, you remember with Riser, when Riser came out on Global, we had Bulwark, so mm -hmm. we were able to do some shenanigans, whereas, like, you know, they didn't necessarily have that, but we also have, um, what is it, the Dazzling Demon S card? Yeah, that's true. Which makes Golbez just that much better. So combine that with, you know, this weapon here. And this is a solid weapon in general. Like, it's two-handed. It, it, the attack is, I, I want to say low, but it's still 202 attack. Mm -hmm. um, the magic is insane, but it, it's it's versatile enough that, like, a hybrid unit might be able to take care of it, take, or, uh, take use of it, and uh, a physical attacker might use it every now and then if you have nothing better, but... It's strictly for the magic, I would say. Oh, it's it's definitely for the magic. It's interesting that they made the sword uh, sort of normal on magic, but really high on... I mean, sort of normal on attack, but really high on magic. It's, uh, it's interesting. Um, but, uh, I mean, I guess their plan is to do the, like, great sword as being, like, much higher on magic or something. Large sword? I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, Golbez has definitely benefited from this one. The Dark Wand, um, I don't know who that's for. Uh, again, that is not, even though I have the graphic pulled up, if you can see over there to the side, I have it uh, where it says actually 405 magic. Whenever they first released this, there was a typo that said 405 attack. But Yeah, um, and for those who aren't aware, this is not a rod. This is a staff. Yeah. So it's not... I don't, I don't think most mages can even equip this. I'm not entirely sure about no, that. No, this should by all means have 405 spirit. Yeah. But even if it had 400, yeah, 405 spirit, most um, spirit-based damage dealers are not 
relevant, I want to say. Like, well, not currently, but you know, you never know what comes down the line. It's true. Uh, uh, yeah, it, so... It, uh, honestly, if I had a choice between the three of these, the sword for sure. The, the sword, definitely. The Dark Masamune is a two-handed katana, but who are you running this on? Chizuru? She really wants her own weapon for all the passives. But you do benefit by having way more attack. Um, I believe, actually, um, because Chizuru's static attack on her weapon's a 1,000, it actually is better um, to have her own STMR. Mm -hmm. who, the only unit off the top of my head that I think that would want this is probably Esther, because Esther only has 500 static on her weapon. So uh, yep. when you take in the... When you take into account all the extra flat attack that gets multiplied by passive percent, this would actually be good on her. Um, assuming you're using the two together and with a katana in peril, of course. But yeah, of course. I'm not entirely sure about Kaito, but Kaito doesn't really. It's not much of a damage dealer, honestly. He isn't. He's a support unit at best. Yeah. He's a good support unit, but. I feel yeah. like this though um, might, and I say might good on Sephiroth if he ever gets his crown upgrades. Ooh, there we go. That makes sense. Uh, he hopefully... Gets like the one, or he gets the 150% uh, dark amp and all that to himself. Like That might be an option. Yeah, I'll just throw this on... Um, I don't know. Uh, Call. He's a great Neo Vision. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, so... It, there's there's uses for the Dark Masamune, but honestly, it's the Dark Walker, and you throw it on Golbez, and he just becomes even stronger. Oh, yeah. It, to me, that weapon is the clear winner. I'm using that on Angus right now. I wish I could, but I am at 9,780 Dark Matter this month. Uh, yeah, that's an issue, too, because we never, on Global, we never got the Dark Vision like ranking rewards upgrades where... No, we get uh, 800 dark matter a month. Yeah, it's not it's not good. Yeah, that's pretty horrible actually. Um, if you rank high, uh, you can farm. You can get a uh, dark visions weapon. One of these dark visions weapons every five to six months. Yeah, yeah. If you if you consistently can rank one, you could get one every four months maybe. So, yeah. So that's pretty horrible, um, considering there's, what, 12? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. So and, the, the by ever... the time you finished farming all these out, it would be end of service. Uh -huh. <laughs> the other unfortunate thing is, like, a lot of people had already bought, like, the older Dark Visions weapons. And they are getting upgraded. Like, some of them are up to, like, 300 attack. I think the magic ones are at, like, 290-something. But they're, mm -hmm. they're single-handed. They're single so right now they're just still behind. Yeah, it's the the problem with this is there's sure they can cost this much, that's fine, but give us a way to farm out that much. Uh we could it, there's just not a way to do it. Yeah. You know, they can they can make it cost a lot. Just give us a way to earn the currency. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, or lower the price, so the, our current way is fine. I don't know. Just see it as a big problem. But I, I like agree. the weapons. Very, very strong. Yeah. Um, I would say, like, if they could, man, Chamber of the Vengeful. I know they're going, like, Clash of Will style with it. Put something, like, Dark Vision-y in there, too, you know? That would be fun. That would be fine. Um, you could throw in uh, one that gives you a guaranteed ten. That way, you can buy one of these. You know, that would be that would be like great for a new player. They can pop right into Dark Visions, get one weapon, and then get a taste of what it's like to have a Dark Visions weapon that they would want for their other units. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, because you you, you want to be like you know a, a drug dealer. You want to give them a taste. You know, not just be like, sorry, you can't do it. You can do this in seven to eight months. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, because, like, if you were a new player, by the time you got enough currency, or enough units to be able to rank um, anywhere, it would probably take you, I don't know, I'm going to say, like, 13 months uh, to be able to afford one of these. I, 
That's insane. <laughs> one. Yeah, cons one of them. Considering how powerful they are compared to even like the strongest STMRs of our global exclusive units, like it, it's bonkers. Mm hmm. I mean, they are the point that it should be from a farmable that takes you months to farm, but it shouldn't take that many months considering there's that many options. Agreed. But enough about these weapons. They're good if you can afford them. They should lower the price or give us more dark vision or dark matter. So moving on to the uh, farmables that you can get from the raid box from the Final Fantasy III raid event. I like them. I wish there were more. We have uh, Sealed Knowledge and Sealed Arts. Um, sealed Knowledge is Aquian Killer 50% and Sealed Arts is Demon Killer 50% with Attack and Magic by 30%. Hey, more killers. But the important thing to point out about these is they're not um, unit exclusive to like a specific game. These are usable by anybody. So absolutely 100% go grab these. Oh yes, completely. Uh, if you are just like lax this week, this is a free Aquian killer for 50%, which is one of the rarest killers in the game. Farm it out. It's in like the first or second box. You don't even have to farm it all the way of the raid. Yeah, I believe Sealed Knowledge is the first box, and then Sealed Arts is the second box, and then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're super easy, very valuable um, for just any content. Let me actually check and see where they are in those boxes. Uh, whoop. Box 1 has uh, Sealed Knowledge, which is the Aquatic Killer. So yeah, you can get the important one, the Aquatic Killer, from the first box. So definitely at least try to do a little bit of the raid. And... And get that. All right, so they're they're great. Farm them out. They're super easy to farm. Now we've got your boy Ignis. Uh, I wish this was a better hat, but for an STMR, I mean, we we talked earlier about 80 magic hats being kind of like the baseline. Everything after <laughs> that is literally the crown of wills. But the unique thing about this is it has 50% magic TDH for everybody, which isn't the best passive for everybody, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing either, especially if you happen to be a new player and grab this somehow. Um, that 50% can actually go a long way for you. Well, yeah, but sometimes, you know, I'm trying to do a very, like, top-tier build, and I'm just short, like, 50% somewhere, and I'm like, man. And if I, you know, can switch in this hat over, you know, like, uh, Fina's hat or something like that, I lose a little flat magic, but I gain that 50% equipment magic, it's going to be a trade-off for me. I'm going to do it. So it all depends on your gear availability, and I think this is definitely one of the, uh, the top gears for playing around with your equipment. Yeah. Um, one thing that's interesting to note is I was doing a little bit of experiments with Ingus. Um, this hat actually ties the ruler's crown of wills for magic for him. So oh, wow. If, you're, if you do have him and get this, this is a, a better item for him. So or at, le at least the same. So you can free up rulers for somebody else. You know? So, uh, while, while I have you here for a second, did you get him? I currently have him at EX2, and when I get the VIP coins, um, shards, he'll be EX3. Oh my god. I went in. I know I know Nier's coming, but I can't it's your be boy. a fan of Red Mages. Yeah, I can't be a fan of Red Mages if I don't pull the first Neovision-based Red Mage. I, I have to. Yeah, it, it's like they release a Red Mage every three years, man. I mean, come on. You have to. I'm, ha I'm having fun with him. I, I love the dude. I, I mean, I think he's got some great fields, and he's he's fun to use. So, uh, then we got his trust mastery. His trust mastery, guidance of the crystals, uh, boost attack and magic uh, by five hundred. Uh, beast killer. Okay, all the killers by fifty percent, but for only Final Fantasy three units. Now, this is a uh, materia that you can only equip on Final Fantasy three units. Uh, I think this is obviously Ingus wants to use this, but Awakened Onion Knight, believe it or not, would actually want to use this as well. Oh, he and Awakened Onion Knight definitely wants to use this, especially in his uh, Brave Shift form. I mean, the fact that it's got all killers on it is incredible. Um, yeah. The fact that it's got a flat 500 uh, attack and magic on it, it's great. So for um, 
any Final Fantasy 3 units, this is a needed materia. But for anybody else, so like your your Final Fantasy 3 Neo Visions, you've got your Awakened Onion Knight, your Dark Knight Luneth NVA, uh, Ignis, um, Onion Knight Neo Vision, and uh, oh, Onion Knight Refia. Yeah. Um, so really, the only ones that are even uh, usable are Ignis, Awakened Onion Knight, and I guess Onion Knight Neo Vision. Yeah, I, I would say so. Lunith, I forget. I know he had like some extreme kind of killer, but I don't think anybody's used him for that in a very long time. Yeah, and it, it Raffia, pales. We, we, we don't talk about Raffia, so She's she bad. She bad. She's and this don't idea. and this don't make her better. So if you're a fan because... of trying to use Final Fantasy three units, this is definitely worth picking up multiples of. But otherwise, meh. Yeah, for sure. Then you got uh, Awaken Onion Knight's Trust Master. He had got upgraded on Global. Kind of unsure why, but okay. Uh, it was uh, attack 40% or attack 40 uh, accessory with uh, restore MP every turn and boost equipment when armed with 200 handed weapons. Now it also has 40 magic on it and the same passive. Uh, the so the reason why for the magic is Awakened Onion Knight becomes a mage in this Brave Shift. Mm -hmm. um, and his PMR ability gives him a thousand static magic. So this gets upgraded to at least have some magic on it where I think his STMR is straight up, um, it's like 50% attack with a sword and then I think 100% uh, true dual wield attack. So if you're ever using him for magic, and he has Meteor too, by the way, um, it's not nearly as good as Gold Best, like there's no shot. But if, if he's like kind of your only option and you want to try that, you would definitely at least want to equip one of the, his TMRs here, simply because it has magic and it activates his TMR uh, ability. It's the only reason why I could think of. Oh yeah, if you don't have Gold Best, he's definitely a substitute. Uh, he has, because he shares the healer passive uh, with the DPS passive. He's not got a lot of that in his kit. He, like, he's missing some magic. Uh, he's missing some killers. But yeah. he definitely still has Meteor plus two, which is what Golbez has, so. Yeah, other than that, like, this is something that if you are playing the game, you literally get this for free right now because you do get a Onion Knight for doing the raid. And at some point, you do get um, TMR moguls from the raid box, I believe. Mm -hmm. So this is something you get for free. I mean, it's it's a decent accessory overall, um, especially for newer players. Veterans, we at this point, you just have access to things that are way, way better, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, it's nice. It's nice for the, the free and for anybody who's getting it this week that's just a new player, so. Yeah. All right, uh, so then moving on, we have the last item on the list for this week, the vision card that comes with Ignis. I love it, by the way, um, just for the art. But uh, uh, we have Bahamut. Run away! Run away! 110 attack and magic, so for hybrid units. It has guts, uh, LB damage 50%, and for Final Fantasy 3 units, attack and magic for 500. Thoughts? I wish this was better I, I mean i'm using um for so for those of you who weren't around for the die collab i've been using the die card um simply because it, the attack and magic it, it has that uh, i think the lb damage boost is like 25 percent instead of 50 um but the die card also has like 1500 flat hp on it which also gets multiplied and i think like 10 higher attack and magic mm -hmm. other, other than that this is kind of a I feel like this is a generic card at this point. Like, a lot of them have um, the LB damage 50, which is, is nice, I guess. Guts is... If you were needing a card with Guts on it, this is probably the best card you're going to get for Guts. Yeah, yeah. Guts guts can be useful. Um, definitely for a lot of strategies, for those climbing through, like, trials that require that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like, um, the boss does AoE death or something, and you just need to survive it, and you can't gear for it. Yeah. Guts, yeah, guts will like, get you. The, the attack and magic 500 being an FF3 unit only. Um, 
it's probably only usable on Onion Knight, I would say. Unless you don't have anything better, frankly. So it's not even usable on Ignis if you don't have the Dragon Quest I card? Well, that all depends on what, um, if people are around for like the step ups. But this, no, this would be usable on him if you didn't have that for sure. Mm hmm. Okay. Static attack and magic. The, the attack actually does nothing for him because he doesn't have a single physical attack. Um, that's strange. Magic is, yeah. It's a physical typed magic attack, but that still uses magic. So. He can have a physical attack. Throw the heal card on him. <laughs> True. Man, I'm waiting for them to rerun that card. I need two of them. Um, oh, anyway. Uh, so, I don't know. I. I love the art for the card. I think that's my most appreciate. Most of the time, we get these global exclusive cards that just like blow any of the JP cards out of the water. Uh, but I think what I'm starting to appreciate the JP cards for is their art. And I think that this card is one of my favorites so far. And I can't wait to get it so I can see Desh staring up at that um, Bahamut. Just I, I I need this card. Yeah. Somebody's missing from that. There's, I see Dash, I see Ingus, I see Ark, I see Rethia. No wait, is that Luna? I can't Dash. tell who that is. It's like a little ninja person. Yeah, that, I think that's Luna. And then obviously the red mage there is Ark. The black mage, no, the black mage isn't Rethia. I don't believe that might actually be Ark. I don't know. This card's weird. They're definitely missing a main cast member from that, though, because Dash is just a guest character. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. I forget the scene, so maybe that's... someone's missing because of the scene. It's been a while since I've played FF3. Yeah. it's. I wish I could pull up the uh, the art, but you can't, pull, you can't look at the art unless you have the card, so... Mm -hmm. uh, you can't look at the card to, like, the summon or your filters or anything like that. There's no way to look at it unless you actually own the card. So, can't see the animation. But, uh, I definitely am looking forward to it so I can set it. Right now, my background is the Final Fantasy 1 where they all look off into the sunset over the hill. I just think that's uh, yeah. a fantastic uh, vision card. I believe mine's the FF6 um, Celis opera scene. Oh, that's a good one where she throws the uh, flowers. Yeah. All right. So, what do we got from this week? Uh, farm out the arc set. That's what I'm saying. Um, we got the killers. Those are good if you can farm them. Definitely farm out sealed knowledge. Um, grab a free trust mastery from Onion Knight. Uh, yeah. That's what that's what I see. Overall, a, a decent week. Um... Killers are always going to be helpful, so absolutely 100% grab those. Yeah, it's a decent week for free gear, which is nice. Uh, it's nice to have a, a week where everything isn't, you know, pay-to-play gear, which is great. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, I'll Especially take... With ne near coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, who, who knows what's coming this week, because it's the week in between near. Um, so... This, this week that's coming is the in-between week. By the time this video comes out, uh, so this video will come out after the news has come out, so who knows? But uh, most people are thinking it's a Final Fantasy VI collabor or, um, collaboration, but I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. I think it's, from FF6, it would be a new version of Edward and Sabin, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Anything, anything you want to say before we head out this week? Uh, not much, man. I appreciate you having me on. This was fun. All right. Thanks for coming on, man. All right, everybody. Later. See you next week.